So you're making your own custom ROM. And uh, why keep it boring with the old custom background when you can add your very own custom background? So of course, you know, we built the JFLTE TMO. Um, on the side, I built the TBLTE XX. Um, but, uh, but a neat part of being able to build your own Android is being able to change anything you want. So there's two principal ways. Uh, if we look in the vendor file for pack, we'll see uh, one, of the, one of the main ways that you'll see um, custom ROM set their background. If you go to this overlay file, and we're gonna go through here to common framework base core res. All of these are just single files that go to the next one. And we see all these drawable, drawable folders. And inside one of them, we'll open this one here, is the uh, default wallpaper. And so these are default wallpapers for the different um, screen resolutions that uh, the user is going to use. So you can see the default uh, pack wallpaper here is pretty boring. Uh, I typically would change this up for something a little more interesting. Um, one place you can get those interesting uh, backgrounds is qlfiles.net. Uh, uh, the author of this site makes some really cool uh, images and, and things that I've used for backgrounds before in a lot of my custom ROMs. Some things a little more um, artistic-like. Uh, here we can see some Julia images that he's made. And, uh, oh, there's a nice one. Look at that. That just looks like a good custom phone background. Um, click on it full size here, bring it up. Uh, high resolution, so um, he does have uh, uh, quite a few ones to choose from here. So we'll just download that because we're going to use that as our new custom ROM background for uh, PacRom. Uh, if you do utilize a site like this or any site, uh, be sure to check with the author to see what the um, licenses are. Down at the bottom, we have licenses listed on his website for, uh, for that. We also have the Mandelbrot. We have like 2D galleries. Um, pretty cool uh, different abstract art kind of thing. Um, but one of my favorite that I've used on quite a quite a few ROMs actually is uh, the Mandel Bulb Mandel Box, which is like 3D art. And uh, if you've seen any of my ROMs before, you may actually recognize some of these as the backgrounds for those. Uh, this was a popular one that I used for a while. Um, I used this on Slim ROM for quite a while. So a couple of really neat backgrounds uh, if you're looking for something a little more interesting to utilize. Obviously, you'll have your own preferences and you can find whatever works for you. <coughs> Um, but again, just make sure whatever you do choose that you are uh, making sure you either have the author's permission or the licenses are open, like the QL files uh, licenses that allow you to uh, utilize some of their work. So if we open an image viewer here, we see that, uh, yep, this is the one we downloaded. Looks really cool. Um, if we just drag and drop it into the drawable folder, it's actually not going to help us any. So what we need to do is make sure that it's the right size and the right name. So uh, if you'd like, on my website, uh, the Alaska Linux user.wordpress.com or the Alaska Linux user.com, you can actually um, download a script that I've written to uh, edit the file to be the right size for each individual drawable folder and set it all up for you. Um, pretty handy. We're just going to look at how to do it by hand. 
one of the things or the tools that really helps for this is image magic. So we're just jumping on here. Uh, we're going to grab that from uh, sudo. Uh, we're going to become a super user and, and grab that package here to utilize to uh, adapt our our file. But again, like I said, you can head to my website uh, and grab the script that will do all of this for you. Um, but we're going to look at how we do it by hand in case you uh, want to go that route. Uh, you can also just, you know, edit it in any editor like GIMP or um, maybe Inkscape or a few different kind of visual editors. I'm sure there's some on Windows that you could utilize for that just to get the file just right. But if we look at the uh, image magic, uh, it has tons of options and uh, can be a little bit confusing at times to utilize. But so many options gives you so much ways to uh, to do something. So we're going to convert and we can use this dash resize and we can choose an actual size that we want um, our build to be. We can choose like a percentage. We can say just 50%. I want it to be half the size that it was or 150%. I want it to be, uh, you know, more than it was originally. So you can use that. I mean, there is no lack of options available here. Um, for uh, image magic and the convert uh, button, but or convert command, it's not really a button. So uh, here we see we have our default wallpaper, and it is 2880 by 2560 pixels. So that's what we want to resize our image to. And we're going to change it to be default wallpaper.jpg. Now notice it not only changed the size of it, it converted it from a PNG to a JPEG. So uh, we look in our, our um, downloads folder here, and there it is. Now, we notice that the um, 2880 stuck, but it then changed to 1960 instead of the 2560. And that's because we need to set the flag to tell it we don't want to preserve the aspect ratio, e.g. if we're trying to change the shape of it. Uh, so essentially, this picture that we chose isn't square enough for what we want to do. It's more of a widescreen view instead of a square view. So to uh, fix this, we would either need to, you know, stretch the image one way or the other, or we would need to um, open it up in an editor and cut it to be uh, the right aspect ratio that we need. Um, but either way, by converting it, we rename it, we can put it into that um, folder, and now it's ready to be used. Here we have, you know, again, tons of options we can look through. Um, might be a little confusing trying to uh, weed through all of these thousands of options that you have here. Um, if you're, you know, using a program like this, don't forget you can always just jump on the web. Uh, there's been, uh, you know, uh, lots of people that worked on this. I love that word automatically. Um, let's look up uh, image magic here real quick. I cannot remember what that flag is. Click on this one. There we go. So here we have uh, Image Magic uh, six examples. So you can uh, ignore the uh, aspect ratio. Let's try that here real quick.
there we go. So uh, that that was the flag that we needed was that exclamation mark with the backslash on it. So now you can see how you can change using image magic, uh, converting a any picture you grab off the web to the right sizes, and then you just literally drag and drop it into the folder. You're going to replace it, and now you are ready uh, to have a custom background for your ROM. Of course, you have to do it for each one of these drawable folders if it's a ROM that's built in this style. Uh, the other style of ROM will have a master file and a script that does this for you. And so you replace that master file um, with one of your choosing. And it's usually found somewhere in the vendor uh, pack overlay or whichever, for whichever ROM you're building. 